now I'll be sharing with you the concepts about using our grayscale and value finder. So first off, what is a grayscale and value finder? It is simply a device which we use to identify the tones correctly. Now the question, why do we need to evaluate the tones correctly? Because as I previously said, drawing is about seeing clearly. However, there are times that we are deceived by our eyes. As you can see in the image by Adelson, we have this famous checker image where the shadows involved are somewhat deceiving to the eye because if we analyze it, the figure here, one marked as letter A and then another figure here marked as letter B, actually when you compare the two shades at first glance, you might think that it is of a different tone. Now, when we look at the image below, as tone is extracted, we could simply see that the tone of image A, of box A, is actually the same as that of box B. Now, why is that? It's because of the illusion created based on the dark tones beside the reference box. Thus, uh, our eyes are basically deceived. Now, what do we do to improve this is that we need to use grayscale and value finder so that when we look at our reference image, at our uh, sample image, we could simply have a more exact depiction of the actual tone. Now, I want to share with you the difference of the previous drawings I had as compared to the current drawing that I have. As seen here in the images, we could see that in the face, the tones are really not that committed. You could see that uh, there are very light shades here, very light shades here, and we could see that there are no tones on the face. Now, why is that? It's because for me, <clears throat> on a personal note, I have had experiences wherein I do not want to commit on the face because uh, I am afraid that I might destroy the image by putting a tone too dark on her skin or comparing that with her hair. But as you can see here, it basically shows that the hair tone is very dark as compared to the skin tone. It's because during these drawings, I still did not use this grayscale and value finder. Now, how do we start using this one? So first off, you can find this one over the internet. Just uh, print it out and cut it in this manner. After cutting it, you can just simply laminate it and keep it in your box for your reference. Now, next thing that we shall do is we make a grayscale swatch. Now, what is a grayscale swatch? It is a series of different tones or shades of pencils, as you can see here, wherein we shall basically compare the value of this, comparing it with the grayscale swatch that we have created. Now, again, I'll explain to you shortly. I'll be using this one because I previously used the Stabler brand. Now, for the color swatch, there are two columns involved. X1 pertains to one layer of pencil and then mixed with a blending stump. So this is the outputs from the 2H, the 2B, 3B, 6B, and so forth. Now, for the X2, this pertains to the two times of uh, layering of pencils wherein after the first layer, after doing the first mixing of the blending stump, you add another uh, layer of pencil or graphite 
to that existing layer and you mix it again with your blending stamp. Thus, we have arrived with a two-layer set which seems to be of a darker tone as compared to that of the single layer. Now, after doing the swatch, I have already created this swatch previously. Now, we need to compare the actual values of the grayscale finder and compare it with the uh, shades of gray with our grayscale swatch. So, I'll show you how to compare it. First off, this white, this value 10 pertains to the perfect white. So, we can never compare it with our shades. Now, value 9 is somewhat uh, that of a light, the lightest shade of gray. Now, from this one, we need to compare this with our tones here. So, let's start off with our 2H single layer. So, you basically put your grayscale and value finder there and you squint your eyes. So, what is squinting? It's basically doing your eyes half open and seeing the image more clearly in terms of the tone. As you can see here, the value 9, the one on the grayscale finder, is that of a lighter shade compared to this one. So, you move on to the next value finder. Now, here we can see in value 8, uh, value 8 uh, pertains to the printout here, value 8, squinting your eyes again and comparing it with this one, you can already see that the tones are somewhat in between the 2H, the single layer of 2H, and that of the double layer of 2H. So here, we can see that the double layer of 2H is darker than this one. So we move on to the lighter shade, and we could see that the tone in value 8 is much darker than that of the tone of 2H single layer. So thus, that's the reason why I have marked here 2H times 1 and 2H times 2. Meaning to say, the shade in between this pertains to a single layer of 2H, which is this one. And also, for the bottom part, uh, it pertains to the 2H times 2 it's because my shades between value 8 and value 7 are in between that of the two layers of 2H, this one. You can see, it's a lighter one. But, comparing it with the value 7, value 7 is already very dark. Comparing it with the two layers of 2H. That's why I, I made the boundary here. Now again, comparing this value 7 with our single layer of 2B, so that's the way to do it. So comparing it, it seems that the tone for our single layer of 2B is much darker than this value 7. That's why I placed the 2B times 1, this one, I placed it along this mark. Now, comparing this value 7 with our 2B times 2, we can simply see that 2B times 2 is already very dark, comparing it with this value 7 hue. So, we can therefore conclude that the 2B, the two layers of 2B is already much on the darker side. That's why I have marked it here in my grayscale and value finder. Now, we move on to the next shade, value 6. We try to evaluate as to what grade of color swatch will match your current grayscale and value finder. So that's the way to do it. Compare it with the colors, uh, the shades. So again, for this one, we used 3B. So comparing it here, you can see uh, by squinting your eyes again, you can see that the tones 
are very very similar in that manner so this is the single layer of 3b so this value 6 I already evaluated it has to be a single layer of 3b now moving so on and so forth with our grayscale swatch I already came up with the figures of that so this value 6 pertains to 3b uh, times 2 meaning to say 3b 2 layers now here value 4 pertains to 5b single layer so 5b single layer is this one so you compare at comparing the two you're gonna get a similar figure so the end state of this once you have already marked your grayscale and value finder you use that as a reference to your drawings already so that when you do the skin tone you can evaluate example for the shadow here within the cheeks section you already compare it with your existing grayscale swatch so again here comparing the cheek portion with this value 8 value 8 is much lighter so this is not the correct tone so moving on the cheeks comparing it to value number 7 still this one is darker so this is not the correct tone now moving on next we can see that the tones are much more neater so we can say that this uh, tone of skin the shadows here are already nearer than that of our value 6 as compared earlier with our value 7 that when you squint your eyes this one is very dark compared to that but again this time it's much nearer uh, again we try to do it with our value 5 so here with our value 5 you can already see that the tones are much nearer so in short we can try to mark this cheek portion as a value 5 because that's what the grayscale comparison uh, looks like that pertains for the cheek portion now let's uh, try this head portion so we put our grayscale and value finder at that one this is darker lighter so move on to the next so comparing this with our uh, value 8 you can see that the tones are much neater comparing it this one uh, we can see that this value 7 is already darker compared to this one so we need to go back to this so we can see that the forehead section is nearer to that of value 8 that's why I can say that for the lighter shades we usually do 2H times 2 so what does that mean we do two layers of 2H so that's the way to evaluate your shades of gray if you have questions and inquiries please feel free to comment and don't forget to like and subscribe Cheers!